On Health Intelligence this week, Europe gets real about superbugs. Here in the European Parliament, the Public Health Committee is focused on tackling superbugs. In part, MEPs want to curb the use of antibiotics to fight back against the growing risk of antimicrobial resistance. Rapporteur, French MEP Francois Costet said, the World Health Organization is warning us that the world risks drifting into a post-antibiotic era in which antibiotic resistance will cause more deaths each year than cancer. Speaking at a February ministerial conference on antimicrobial resistance in Amsterdam, Vitenis Andirokaitis, European Commissioner for Health, said an accumulation of factors, in particular the excessive and inappropriate use of antibiotics and poor infection control practices, have progressively turned AMR into a massive threat for humankind. Europe's private sector is responding to the risk of a global pandemic with a new generation of innovation. Sensational new medical research conducted by the University of Ferrara in Italy proves that Europe can immediately counteract environmental pathogenic multiresistance simply by using a special probiotic-based hygiene system called PCHS. The Italian research team proved that the probiotic cleaning hygiene system will contribute substantially to healthcare-associated infection risk reduction. Lead researcher Professor Santi Mazzucani said, the study proves the ability of PCHS to colonize hospital surfaces, replacing pathogenic bacteria with safe bacteria. Ferrara-based health service company Copma has been a research partner. Copma president Alberto Rodolfi remarked that traditional hygiene methods cannot produce these results. What Mazzucani's research team have produced is not just good news for Italy, but great news for healthcare practitioners and patients globally. Copma CEO Mario Pinca told Health Intelligence that the clinical implications of this research could result in very significant effects even economically, given the impact that HAIs and their treatment have on healthcare budgets.